so much has changed since I made my last video. Shit's gotten cray cray. Twenty twenty was supposed to be the year of like Gatsby level glitz and glam, the Roaring Twenties, economic prosperity, artistic dynamism. This year was supposed to kick ass. I even put that in my Twitter bio. Now I look like a huge dummy, just a big old dummy in a van with his dumb ideas and his dumb aspirations. <laughs> This was gonna be the year I was finally gonna learn how to tap dance. Do I look like I'm in any position to tap dance? Do I look like I even have room to tap dance? I got the shoes, but I don't have the room or the willpower. That's out out the window. That's now out my one window. That one right there, right at the top. So much for my dreams of being a double threat. And now, it's all gone down the shitter. Right along with the single most underrated, semi-precious natural resource we now have. Toilet paper. The kind for your butt. Believe me, I really, really wanted to finish out the three-story arc of the Miss Chinatown pageant. And then this all happened. By this, I'm clearly talking about the elephant in the room. The thing that's been occupying every spare thought of every waking moment of our lives recently. You know where I'm going with this. The Dow Jones. The motherfucking Dow Jones. Where's my 401k? Where are my savings? <laughs> Pannon, Pannon. I, uh, I, I don't have any savings. Here's the thing, you can't lose money if you don't have money to begin with. Uh, if it's not saved, then uh, you can't lose it. I know a lot of you come to this, this YouTube channel to watch me do covers and to watch me um, do videos where my booger is the main character, but um, that's a little financial tip for those of you out there who are looking to, you know, weather the next pandemic. How about the up Jones? Am I right? <laughs> and now we get to the real nitty gritty of this video. I'm talking about a little tiny baby contagion, probably about the size of an Ebola's tooth, like a kush kush ball from hell talk about COVID-19. Ew, COVID! Look, I, I don't I don't know anything, you know, outside of music. Um, but if I was just like kind of casually explaining this virus to a friend, um, I'd probably say like coronavirus is <laughs> that they constitute the subfamily of orthocoronavirinae and um, are the family coronavirinae and that uh, they're the order um, nidovirales in the realm uh, riboviria. But like yeah, I, you know, I'm not like a scientist. Like, I guess if like someone held me at gunpoint and we're like, explain what the coronavirus is. You know, I guess I'd, I guess, <laughs> I don't, I guess like on the spot, I guess I would say that uh, coronaviruses are a envelope virus with a positive sense single stranded RNA genome and a nucleocapsid with uh, helical symmetry. But it's like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm a musician. Like, I, you know, I don't, I don't like, I don't like do science. To those of you who are also in quarantine like me, this is day 12. Um, I just want to say I'm with you in solidarity. Uh, to those of you working cash registers and delivering food and those of you who have to work and those of you who are carrying the e economy and keeping things running and to the medical professionals on the front line who are dedicating every waking moment to trying to save lives, um, thank you so much. And for those of you who are just enjoying your spring break like there's nothing going on, f you. But wait, 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 wait. 2020 was supposed to be all about positivity and happiness and in the spirit of what it was supposed to be, rest in peace, I'll digress. But I'll be totally honest with you, um, some days it gets a little hard to beat back the darkness. You know, for me, it's not necessarily, uh, you know, the cancellation uh, after months and months of planning. Um, it's not so much the losing a year's worth of income or my general life purpose, so much as like, the gnawing, the constant gnawing feeling of the virus just sort of looming in the shadows, ready to hop the nearest doorknob and catch the itchy face express right up into my mouth. I spent last week and this week uh, doing what all of you are probably doing, adjusting to our new normal, um, planning our near and distant futures within the confines of groceries, listlessly dreaming of a future where we don't have to worry about killer viruses being on everything and attaching to our clothes and our bodies and us spreading them everywhere and killing our friends. So after my tour uh, got canceled and my year fell apart, 
Um, I just dropped everything I was doing and I came home to look after my parents. I'm less at risk of dying from getting coronavirus and uh, it just made sense to come home and look after them. But also one of them is immunocompromised. I won't tell you which one is in case the virus sees this and decides to get petty and go for the easy target, but um, shit's scary. You know, I would like to apologize for missing the last two deadlines of putting on videos. I know some people could use a laugh, um, but at the same time, I'm not really sorry because I think we're all just trying to survive at this point and uh, kind of make sense of the new normal. So don't let anybody make you feel guilty about not doing anything with the current time we have at hand. If you take nothing else from this, this video, hopefully it's that. My only hope for you is that you guys are safe and your families are okay and that you're staying inside. Except for those spring breakers. Except for those motherfucking spring breakers! Nope, 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 no. We're not doing this. We're not gonna let them steal our joy. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Call your parents. Call elderly neighbors who probably need checking in on. Make sure to tip any of your service industry people, whether that's coffee, delivery drivers, even your cleaners, um, egregiously. Tip them a lot because, I mean, they have families too and uh, they're all getting their life source cut off as well. Um, support local mom and pop restaurants by eating carry out. Um, I'm doing that tonight. And microwave that shit just to be safe. And uh, for the love of God, for the love of God, please stay quarantined. I know it's hard and it sucks, um, but try to find the positives in your day to day. And uh, I promise you, we will all get through this and uh, we'll probably emerge with a healthier perspective on how great most of us have it and um, how much more we can and should be doing to help other people.